Hi everyone, Dr. Jason Plotsky here from Nova Spinal Care, and I just wanted to explain our philosophy of movement. So we call this the movement triad because in our experience, 16 years, 3,000 patients, we found that having all three of these things in place is really key for optimal health and optimal joint health. So whenever I think about joints in the body, I always think about these three things. So for example, if we used uh, the spine as an example, we would say, okay, to have an ideal spine, what would that mean? Well, we would want that spine in an ideal alignment pattern. What else would we need with that spine? Well, it should be able to move in certain directions and certain degrees of uh, rotation and flexion and extension, etc. What's the last thing we need? Well, we need that spine to be able to be stable in certain ranges of motion so that it doesn't put undue stress on other structures. So if we think about another joint, say for example, the hip joint. So the hip joint, we really wanna make sure that a lot of the patients we see, we make sure that their pelvis is in alignment and everything is where it's supposed to be. We wanna make sure that for people to be balanced and aligned properly, we use weight scales so that they're within say 2% of their body weight left to right. Why would that be important? Well, I can tell you uh, hundreds of patients that I've seen that they've been imbalanced or lopsided and the heavy side of their misalignment is the side where they're carrying all the joint wear and tear. So if you think about knees and hips, they're the same age, right? And someone will say, oh no, my, my right hip's bad because it's, it's just wearing down, it's old age. And so we think, well, if the left one's normal, why is the right one not normal? So a lot of the times the alignment becomes a really big piece because if you're putting 10, 15, 20 more pounds on one side of your body, over and over and over, whenever you move, whenever you walk, whenever you run, you're putting abnormal forces on each side. So that's something really we have to consider. So then we usually start with alignment in the clinic. So once we get the alignment settled, once we get the alignment sorted out, then the next question is, what are we gonna do about mobility and stability? So this is often where the homework comes in. So what we're trying to create for people is an opportunity where they can work on their issues at home. So if we use the spine as an example again, if we got the spine in alignment in the clinic, what we would do is send people home to do certain stretches or mobility work that can help the body heal and help things move forward. And we would also get them doing different types of exercises. Now, what we know about stretches and exercises is especially if people feel good, the percentage of people that do their work after their uh, issues are solved is somewhere around 30%. So for example, if someone came to see me or a physiotherapist and they uh, were given homework to do and that homework helped their body heal and they're really happy, everything's working well. If you ask those people three months later, if they're still doing the stretches and exercises that help them out, only about a third of people are. So this is the other benefit of doing uh, what we call wellness care or continuous care where we're basically constantly monitoring turning things for people and giving them new stuff to do. And it's also the reason that we have different things at the clinic and different practitioners and things like physio Pilates or ways that you can actually, you know, engage in a, a small group or one-on-one -on -one type training. So you're doing more mobility or, you know, some strength training. So we've also got physiotherapists in the clinic that can watch you as you're doing different types of you know, uh, real strength work. So we've got great equipment here to do that. So for us, we really want to have all three. So for any joint to be healthy, for the spine to be healthy, for the hips to be healthy, for the knees to be healthy, for the shoulders to be healthy, any, any joint in the body, what we have to do is we have to make sure that we have all three of these things in place. So a lot of these things, they also require homework and they require diligence. So we have to make sure that just because something feels better doesn't mean that you should stop doing it, right? So if I think about my own routine and this is how I think about my week. So every week I will spend time and attention on each one of these things. So for example, I make sure my alignment's checked or it's optimized every week or every two weeks. So I get that checked here at the clinic. I also do certain things at home. Um, for example, if I'm using a dental roll or another postural device, we're using something at home daily or weekly to make sure I'm working on this alignment piece. For me, I do a lot of mobility work in between my workouts. So I have a foam roller at home. I use the alpha ball. I'll do different stretches. I'll do yoga when I can. Uh, I do all of that stuff every week. So small, small amounts of doing uh, mobility work can be key. And then for me, stability work, 
I really have a morning routine that I've got it down to probably less than five minutes. So I'll often tell people, look, the things I do at home are not, you know, crazy complicated. In fact, they're really basic. But what is good is I'm really good about doing that stuff consistently and I really don't miss any days. And because of all that and this triad that we've developed is the reason that, you know, I feel as good at 44 as I did at 34 or my mobility today is, is the same or better than it was five years ago. My strength and my, you know, stability in, in my spine and some of my joints is better now than it was five years ago. It's not because of good luck and it's certainly not because of good genes. It's because I really have figured out the triad and I apply that every, every week for my body. So this is really something that I think of, okay, let's say you're doing a great job because I get patients like this all the time. I've even had fitness trainers, yoga instructors, people that are really specialized into one area, but their body's still not working right. Well, we really have to examine all three areas for the body to be functioning well and to be healthy over time. So that's really the goal. It's to look at this and say, okay, what missing piece do, what, what piece of this am I maybe missing right now? And what can I add in? And remember, it's not about just adding in for the short term, it's really trying to layer in habits. So like I said, my morning routine, it wouldn't shock you, it wouldn't amaze you, but the fact that I do it very consistently allows me to do all the things I need to do in my day and have long days and, and do other things extracurricular and none of that stresses my body because I'm doing all these things on a regular basis. So I really think that's the point, is for your body trying to figure out any weak spots and then trying to develop habits and rituals to fill in those gaps. And if you do that consistently over time, your body's going to work great and it's really going to slow down the wear and tear process and it's going to slow down the aging process, which I know most people want, certainly what I want and it's what a lot of our patients want is really just to slow down that process. So we got to work on all three. And once you do that, you're going to see great changes with your body.